Hello everybody, my name is Connor, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HeroClix video, where today, I'll be going over a HeroClix tournament that I had today for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Whoop whoop, uh, where is it? If I shift over a little bit, you can see that we have the, one more, here we go, Sewers Indoor. That was one of the maps for the uh, event today, here's what it looks like, it looks pretty dope and all. But today I'm going to be going over what I played and what I did, or what I did, what I unboxed. Um, basically it was a $20 entry fee, and you got 8 boosters of TMNT, and you basically build a 300 point team. With 3 actions, it was kind of hard, because there's so many cheap point, cheap pointed figures. I think that's how you say it. So, I'm going to be going over what, what my team was. So, I'm going to get it out right now. Hold on one second. I probably should come more prepared. Uh, I'm smart, ZMRT. Alright, so, I'll show you the figures in a second, but we're starting it out with a foot soldier. This is the one, the Psy foot soldier. N uh, foot soldier nunchaku, these are all 30 point foot soldiers. Foot so another foot soldier nunchaku. We have foot soldier Nak Nakana, nailed it Connor, Katana. I had Splinter. I had Metalhead, who was really good for 100 points. Uh, Splinter was 40 points. I had the Rat King at 65 points. He's a super rare, which I was excited to pull. You can go ahead and read what he does right there. He is really good. He synergizes a lot with Splinter. You go ahead and read the Strange Spectral Guide. That was amazing. I will say that right now. And I'm pretty sure that was my whole entire team. Yes, so this was the guys I got my figure review. Just to let you know, um, I because the event today, my dad was like, you know what, he, never mind, you can open the boosters up tomorrow, so I'm with my dad tomorrow, so I get to unbox the whole entire gravity feed for you on camera tomorrow, which is exciting, uh, so if you want, you can go ahead and take a look at the back of the cards, now there's nothing much on a lot of them, here are the rats, the rats were very helpful, you get a good close look at these guys. I know some people like to see the universe that they were in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show the back of the... Which call it? You just kind of see a lot of them from are from the animated Caesar, animated Caesar, animated series back in 1987. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop them out. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard, but I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can take off the dial for them. If not, I'll grab a tool. Yep, we can. All right, so this is Metalhead. You can go ahead and take a look at him. Oh no, he's flying everywhere. Hold up. This is Metalhead's dial. He's good. And this is Metalhead. He looks like. Someone who was built by a Jawa from Star Wars that got made for the Ratchet and Clank movie. Can't wait to see that. 100 points of goodness. He's one of the only characters with down on the set. That's Metalhead. My team, or almost one of the team MVPs. We have, get some focus on that. Yeah, there we go. We have Rat King, Super Rare, 65 points. I'll go ahead and see if I can take his dial. Probably not because the Super Dials are th more thick. Yeah, that's okay. I'll just go ahead and scroll through it. Uh, you can't really see it because it's the shadow. Eh, kind of. There you go. You can kind of see he gains probably in the dial, which is helpful. Then he goes on to Rat Swarm, and then when he dies, he can go ahead and possess uh, somebody uh, with the animal keyword. And I had him possess Splinter because he also gave him regen, which is awesome. So, that was that part of my team. You have Nunchaku Foot Soldier, 30 points. Go ahead and take a look at his dial there. I don't think I can get it off, but it's only three clips deep, so nothing special. I have some other guys. We got Foot Soldier Katana. Katuna. Yep, we got the Power Ranger Squad. Almost assemble all those. Yeah, that's going to be pretty exciting. Who else do we got? I traded him away, but I pulled everyone but one character I pulled. We got Splinter, I traded, he was on my team, then I traded him away. I already did a review on him, so you can go ahead and check that video out if you would like. You can go ahead and take a look, whoop, you know, take a look at him. Can't I see this one as well, but, there you go, kind of, not really, that's cool, whatever. He's 40 points. A lot of the dials in this uh, set is, are really long, like Alpha 1 for 60 points. 
lives ridiculously long. Like, some characters are extremely hard to take down. So in this set, the games are so long. So now we have Foot Soldier uh, Sai, who I played as well. And uh, now we're getting too much focus in the background, so let's go ahead and focus on this. Um, I don't think it's going to work. Hold up one second, guys. Sorry about this. Um, there we go. Okay, this is the main attraction. 30 points again. They have the same exact dials as all the other foot soldiers, except they just have different special and attack. And then our last character that we played was another non-Shaku. So we got the Power Ranger squad. Um, he's kind of off camera. So my first match, I played with my friend Justin. He had... I don't really remember his team, really. It's kind of hard. I mean, there were just so many random things in the set every here and there. He had Alpha 1, Nobody. He had two foot soldiers, which I don't remember. He had Donatello, Michelangelo, and then he had April O'Neil for a total of 300 points in the nose, I'm pretty sure. So that was his team. Uh, my team just literally got, I mean, I wouldn't say literally got demolished, but... He had Alpha 1 bring, he had, Alpha 1 is the guy that special power where you can like drag, give him a power action and drag a character within 5 scores, not, not a fire. So, he technically legally could target Rat King with, because he has stealth, uh, and his rats didn't protect him, rip. So, he, we brought, he brought him right next to him and then everyone swarmed him. So, from there, it just took him down, so that sucks. And then we ended up with the tie. He took down, I think, he took down all four foot soldiers. And I took down Alpha 1 and one, uh, another character that I can't remember. Oh, yeah, a foot soldier, Alpha 1. And then, uh, where is it? Knockoff, Apuna, Hasapita, Pedalon from The Simpsons. So we had a roll off. And what's really stupid is we each roll one die. And whoever rolls higher wins. Bit to, that's how they resolve draws, which is really stupid, but whatever. We rolled a two, he rolled a three. That's stupid, but whatever. So he won that match. In my second match, I got the bye, which sucks because I come there to play, not to just sit around for 50 minutes. Yeah, that sucked. And then in my third match, I played my friend. I forgot his name. Oops, rip. Um, <laughs> I don't know what his name is. I'm so bad at remembering things. Uh, he played... Michelangelo, these are all the commons. So Michelangelo common, Donatello common. No, it was Raphael common. That's what it was. It was Donatello, he's with the staff, and then he had uh, Raphael. And he also had two foot soldiers, a mouser, a Punahasapita pedalon, and he had, I think, oh, Casey Jones at 30 points. Not Kingdom Come Jones, just Casey, C A S E Y, Casey Jones. So that was my team. And, uh, you know, I had some extra money for my garage sale. It was pretty unsuccessful, but hey, you know, I sold some stuff. It got me the money. So, we go and put my team aside. We went, I won the map because there was only two mutant news and one went to the judge. So, first place got it. So, I bought a booster of War of Light. I pulled Orange Lantern Construct, which you guys don't care about. Hold on one second. Oh, I don't know where it went. I'll look for it later. So he, p I pulled the Orange Lantern Construct, Tomar 2, or no, Romat Ru, the regular uh, Sinestro Core character. I pulled, who is it? Oh yeah, White Lantern Kyle Rayner. Uh, as the rare of my pack, I pulled Karu Sil with the pack. She is pretty freaky. Uh, cool. And I saw the double base, I got really excited, I was like, oh man, I pulled a chase, awesome! But I didn't. Uh, instead, I just pulled the Adara chase, yeah, I know, it seems like, oh, Connor, that's amazing. I know, that is amazing, I know, I'm just kidding around. But, the pack was really mixed up. Basically, the, the gist of it is, when I opened up the booster, I saw the card for Adara, and I was like, okay, awesome, I pulled a chase. And then I see the, du the dual base, and I see yellow, I was like, oh my god, I just got parallax. Hold up one minute, what? And then I see Adara. So the booster, the bottom of the booster, this is exactly what it looked like. And it was so crammed that the 
this uh, Adara almost broke, and I got really worried. So I'm probably just gonna sell this Adara. Um, if you want, if you want to trade for it, let me know. I honestly really don't care all that much um, about it. The entities are shifting out, so they won't be in modern pay for, for nationals. So don't need to worry about that stuff. But if you want it, let me know. Um, and I bought a flash booster. Just got some crap, but that was my hero clicks team review for my TMNT sealed event. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Connor, and I'll see you guys later. Take care. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video, where I will be unboxing my gravity feed. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and if you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.